what a beautiful fish. But, you know, we should tell the viewers, it's not as simple as just coming out here. It's yeah. knowing the area, it's using electronics. We've got our shelters in case it gets cold. We've got the right rod, stiff rod, heavier line, the right spoon. And then it's a matter of getting him to commit. And that guy came in, came up once, went down, came up, wham. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you in part by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Sale, the Outdoors Superstore. Lucky Strike, all you need is a Lucky Strike. I got him, I got him, my towel. Not a bad one either. Steve, I have eyes like a hawk. Really? <laughs> now take your time, yeah. hold the rod tip up. Okay. I don't need to give you any instructions, yeah. right? You yeah. probably fished here more than I do. <laughs> you know oh. what? That's a good eating fish. Yeah, this nice is what, little eater. This is what not to do. You wouldn't want to do that with about an eight, nine pounder. No. You'd probably fall right off. No, absolutely. But you know what? As soon as I saw that fish coming through the ice, he looked like he was a nice eating size fish. Right. You know, years ago, I don't think anyone used the jigging wraps here. No, no. So it's, uh, it's funny how they've caught on, eh? Well, it's probably my number one lure. Yeah. I've caught almost 100 fish on this this year, and it just seems to be it's a mainstay on Quinny now. Man, you must have a lot of rocks down there. Look, both hooks are gone <laughs> on the side. <laughs> now, is that, have you done that on purpose? Yeah, sometimes uh, we get the really big fish on, right. and they're very hard to land at the hole. And it, yeah, exactly, because they'll catch onto the thing. Right. This isn't a monster, but it just shows you what a nice mix of sizes there are. Right. Because yesterday we were out here, we were getting fish up to about 10 pounds, yeah. and everything in between. And that's actually, if you were going up north, that would be um, a legal fish to keep. So right. I think he's under probably 16 inches, just under. Yeah. So it would be a great fish for eating. But we're gonna let him go. And because it's cold out, you know what? He's gonna give us a wave, a mini wave. There yeah. he goes. <laughs> now, how are you fishing now? Were you snapping it or working it slowly near the bottom? Well, I was, I was snapping it. They have a tendency to wanna swim around well, they want in to do a, a circle. Figure eight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, here's something interesting. Yeah. I tell you, this is the new shift reel. I can see that. that that's a pretty expensive <laughs> ice fishing expensive outfit. combo, but uh, our good friends at Normark come up with this. It doesn't weigh anything. I know, it's I know. very light. It probably weighs about eight ounces. Right. The whole thing. The whole thing. So now, what do you think of the bait caster? Because a lot of guys use spinning outfits, or they still use sticks, or you know, yeah. very simple rods and reels. This is pretty high tech. The simplicity of a bait caster is when you push the button, the lure goes down. There's no line twist like I you know. get on a spinning the reel. The looping so, where you got to pull it off. So if you've got a fish that you've worked halfway up, you can just lower it back down to that okay. fish if he decides to sink the bottom, give it a couple shakes, and uh, now, chances are he'll go. I just noticed something. This oh. is your little sneak. Oh, no. Okay, we got to get the camera in for a close-up here. Yeah. This has been technically altered. Not technically only altered. not only did he take the front and back hook off, look at this. Do you see what I see in there? There happens to be a little rattler, and it looks like a glass one that he's epoxied there. Yeah. You think Rapella might come out with a modified version of this? I think it's in the works. Okay, we won't tell anybody, no. okay? No, we won't. But absolutely, <laughs> I find guys out fishing, you can... Sure, you tinker, you always you tinker, experiment, yeah, and you yeah. know what? Sound is important. There's not right. a lot of stuff that's making sound around here. Yeah. So those walleyes have such keen hearing and senses, they just zero in. And, and really... The bass anglers, salmon yep. anglers, everybody wants sound. That's right. Why not us? Of course.
Neverglue, the ultimate bolt shelter system, sport fishing sweepstakes. Well, I was fishing with my granddad. He's a pro fisherman. He can tell what kind of fish it is, even if it's just on your line. And we were just about to move to a different spot in the lake, and then I got this big, huge bite. And uh, when I pulled it up, granddad said, it's a walleye, Taylor. I'm like, what? And it was really fun. I never thought I'd catch a walleye that big. I love you very much, Granddad, and I love, I love to go fishing with you. We'd love to hear your fishing story. Go to our website and enter the Navaglue Sport Fishing Sweepstakes. You could win some great prizes.